Have you ever wondered what it would be like to spend 21 hours riding through the middle of the United States on one of the country's most recognizable trains? Well, you're about to find out. Today we're going to be taking our first long distance train trip in the US. But it's not just any little train journey, nope. We're going to be riding overnight on Amtrak's Texas Eagle from Chicago, Illinois, all the way through the American Heartland to Dallas, Texas. And we'll be doing it in coach. We have not peed or brushed our teeth. It's almost ready to come in. Time to head to the Amtrak kiosk to pick up our tickets and claim our seats for this crazy journey. We have no idea how this works, so we're going to figure it out together. Uh, I don't know if we need to like, pick up a favorite ticket and like claim our seats. I don't really know how Do you works. have post seats? Yeah, we have post seats. Uh, do you have like phone, like your email, the barcode? Uh, we have like the QR code? Yeah, that's all you need. That's all we need, and then we yes, just frame our seats when we're in there? Yeah, uh, it's open seating. So we just found out that there are no paper tickets when you're riding coach, and we also found out that there are no assigned seats. All we have is this QR code, and it's first come, first serve. Welcome to our home for the next day. Most people would probably dread a 21 hour train trip through America, but we're kind of looking forward to it. We always really enjoy our train trips. This is the most spacious, I guess, seat we've ever had. There's also a place to put our feet down here. I smashed my toe in here earlier and it really hurt. I think I might be bleeding. It also has a very nice recline, which works out because I think we're gonna spend most of our time here because we just heard some very bad news at the observation deck where you can just like sit and like look out the window is no longer part of like Amtrak. So we're gonna spend most of our time right here, except for dinner time, which is like in four hours. And we're gonna see you from the dining car for a gourmet Amtrak dinner. Hello. Um, do you have the food that's on the menu? Correct. Uh, could we have two grilled cheese? That'd be kind of silly to have the menu there. Now. Yeah, but I don't know if you're not like serving. I don't know. Why would I not? Mm -hmm. I, got I don't know, know what's happening here, Rachel. Have it your way right away here at Amtrak with our everyday low, low price. <laughs> <laughs> then two grilled cheese and an Asian noodle bowl. Do you have more jokes coming? I might. <laughs> We're here till Dallas, so oh, <laughs> we yeah, could use it. <laughs> All right, so two grilled cheese and noodle bowl. Is that yep. Credit. Credit. We are a little bit over five hours into the ride and so far it has been pretty smooth. We thought we had to make reservations for dinner but apparently you don't have to do that anymore. You just like come to like this like coffee shop area and you order straight from our menu and they have several options. It's not a huge menu but they do have enough options and we order a grilled cheese and a noodle salad. I was very happy to see a grilled cheese sandwich on the menu because I love grilled cheese and I didn't think I was going to have dinner tonight. So, let's see how it tastes. I didn't hear a crunch. <laughs> so it was soggy. <laughs> it was warm up in a bag. It's not great, but whatever. Course number two is this vegan Asian style noodle bowl. We have dinner with a view because we just passed St. Louis and we saw the St. Louis Arc for the first time in our lives. That's what happens when you ride the train. You go places that you've never been for in your life. Thank <laughs> you. 
Time for a bathroom tour. First impressions is very spacious, but it's thanks. It's almost ready to come in. Let's try that one more time. There's a little bench that you can sit. There's a toilet, which I'm going to flush to spare you the details. It has all the basics. There's soap, toilet paper, water. <laughs> yep, it works. There's some cups. That's going to be useful for brushing your teeth tonight. There's paper towels, tissues, a plug here. <laughs> You can do your hair, I guess. A changing table and a very nice touch toilet seat covers. That's it for the bathroom tour. It's gonna be hard to avoid using the bathroom in a 21 hour train journey, but it's not great. I'm almost trying to come in again. We have just discovered the biggest game changer out of the lock. We're somewhere in the middle of Missouri. It is 9.30 p.m. It feels like it's 2 a.m. We are so, so tired, so we're going to try to go to sleep. Even though it's a little bit wobbly up here, we'll do our best, and we'll see you guys in the morning, probably from Texas. Good night. Good morning. We officially made it through the night. I think we each got like five to six hours of sleep, all in like 30 minutes spurts, but still, we'll take it. Now it's morning time. We're somewhere in East Texas. We got our coffee. We had a little bit of a worry last night because they made an announcement that their coffee machine wasn't working. The coffee machine doesn't work. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I tried. The coffee pot does not work. But I think Rachel figured it out. Yeah. There's some hot coffee. We have a confession to make. We have not peed or brushed our teeth. <laughs> the bathrooms don't smell great. So let's see if we make it to the house without me. I know for sure I'm not brushing my teeth. Sorry, baby. Baby is my friend that we're just sitting in the house. I have them. You're up. <laughs> Uh -huh. It was an elf down in the cabin. We decided to hang out in this little cafe area for a little bit longer because we are super comfortable here. There's no one here and we get to have beautiful views from both sides of the cabin. And right now everything still has the fall color. So right now it's December 1st and we're, so we're kind of shocked to see that happening still. But it is so beautiful and that's exactly the reason why we like to go on this like crazy long train journeys because you get to slow down and relax and look out the window. Might not be the most comfortable or the fastest, but it is awesome. We always wonder, you know, like I don't know if we would do this when we're like older. So now that we're young and we have the time, why not? So we're gonna keep enjoying this train and we will see you in Dallas. Y'all. Yeah. I got one more for you guys. I was wanting to know when another engine is coming. He hears it with his engineers. Okay, I'm on a roll. You know how we know when the train passes us? You know how we're going to know when the train passes us? He's going to leave his track. That's all I got, guys. For now. That's her friend, Rachel. She's awesome. <laughs> Now, 
It feels really good to get off the train. We can walk, stretch the legs. It was a long journey. I don't know if I can do a longer journey than 21 hours. Breathe some fresh air. It's cold though. <laughs> no more fart smells. <laughs> No more weed smells. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along. We did write down some tips for you guys in case you're thinking about taking one of these trains. Hopefully this is going to be useful. The first one is that there are no assigned seats in coach class, so do make sure to get there early, especially if you're traveling as a couple, if you want to sit together. The second one is that we were sitting on the second floor and it's definitely more like wobbly up there than the bottom one, so keep that in mind. There are no observation rooms and that was like a bummer because we asked like the lady and she said that Amtrak eliminated them so if you have seen like older videos where they have like that cool like glass room where you can see outside apparently it doesn't exist anymore so that wasn't great. There's plenty of back storage for small carry-on items and backpacks so you don't have to like check anything in. A train. Wi-Fi on board, which was kind of surprising, but the train didn't have it. And if you like the video, please make sure to like and leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you're interested in watching other train videos, I'm going to leave one here that we took in Europe last summer. And thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because in the next videos, we're going to be doing a Dallas food tour and showing you guys around Dallas. This is the new me, y'all. <laughs> the Wild West version of Aymara. Are you ready for it? Thank you.